One other separate topic. There have been a number of issues um, in, the, in the last, say, several weeks in which uh, advocates, uh, allies of the president, are um, describing him as Trump-like. Um, most less in terms of his personality and sort of tone and tenor, obviously, but, but in terms of policy. Uh, even today, uh, the representative of the Cuban government describing uh, the frustration uh, with, uh, with the president con continuing to maintain Trump-era policies vis-a-vis -vis Cuba. Um, does the, what's the president's reaction, uh, and, and does he accept that in some areas of policy uh, he is um, uh, you know, in agreement with the former president? So just for the sake of argument here, not argument, but discussion, beyond the representative of the Cuban government who... Afghanistan, um, immigration... Um, well, but who? Who were we talking about here? Who, who? Who's saying that the president's like Trump? Oh, I mean, they're, 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 I, mean they're, I could find you quotes. We've ever been quotes in our paper and quotes in lots of, lots of folks uh, have, uh, depending on the issue, whether they are immigration advocates or you know, folks uh, in the Afghanistan who sort of watch Afghanistan, there there have been numerous on-the-record descriptions of the president embracing, and, and it's actually in some ways just a factual thing, but, right? But like, like on what policy? On what policy, sir? I don't. You can you can name people, but or what specific policies? Uh, well, I mean, for example, Afghanistan would have been the maintaining of the former president's decision to withdraw troops. On immigration, it's in maintaining Title 42 and keeping Title 42 in place. I mean, they're... The submarine? Hmm? The submarine, yeah. The which one? The submarine. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the president was, yeah, was, was compared to, to Trump. To Trump, well, the, the, the sub, that, that's the, 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 the French, <laughs> the French uh, foreign minister uh, compared him to Trump in terms of how he handled the AUKUS negotiations. So, look, I take each one of these. On Afghanistan, the former president struck a deal without the Afghan government that we heard uh, the military convey yesterday led to the demoralization of the Afghan security forces and the Afghan government, where he also released 5,000 Taliban uh, fighters into Afghanistan. Uh, I would say the president took a pretty different approach than that in ending a war that the former president didn't end, something the American people strongly support. As it relates to AUKUS, I'm not even sure what that's referring to in terms of what they're comparing. Uh, the president uh, worked with key partners, uh, Australia and the United Kingdom, to uh, come to an agreement that would help provide security in an important part of the world, in the Indo-Pacific, uh, a priority that, frankly, getting out of the war in Afghanistan leaves space for us to spend more time addressing. What was the last one? Immigration? Uh, immigration, Title 42, tariffs on China. I mean, there's... Title 42 is a public health uh, is a public health um, uh, requirement, a public he it, because we're in the middle of a pandemic, which, by the way, we would have made progress on had the former president actually addressed the pandemic and not suggested people inject bleach. So I think we're in a bit of a different place. Uh, I'm happy to, to discuss more examples. I, I think it's people be pretty hard pressed to argue that the president has taken any aspect of the former president's playbook and used it as a model of his own. Okay.